Hey boys and girls, today we're going to look at standard RL 6.9. And this standard says compare and contrast text in different forms or genres. It could be a story, a historical novel, fantasy stories, in terms of their approaches to similar themes and topics. So that's the two things we're going to compare and contrast is their theme and their topic. So let's look at, we have two different um genres here. The first one, we're going to look at a poem by Emily Dickinson, and then we're going to look at a short story. Okay, so the title is To Fight Aloud is Very Brave. To fight aloud is very brave, but gallanter I know, who in charge within the bosom to cavalry of woe, who win and nations do not see, who fall and none observe, whose dying eyes no country regards with patriot love. We trust in plumed possession, for as such the angels go, rank after rank with even feet and uniforms of snow. Okay, I know this is a poem because as you'll see, we have no woe. We have um, go snow. So we have a lot of um, rhyming words there. Okay, so the main thing here, I noticed that this poem compares the courage of our daily struggles with the valor shown by soldiers in war. Okay, in the first stanza, we know that the paragraphs and poems are called stanzas. So in that first stanza, the speaker notes the fighting battles against sorrow in our hearts requires more courage than it takes to fight aloud. So I think this is the main theme of the poem. All right, so... We know the question here asks us, what are the topic and theme of this poem? Well, our topic, of course, would be the bravery, okay? Then our theme would, it, would be it takes more courage to struggle without glory. So let's look. We're going to come back to this, but let's look right here. It's a realistic fiction passage. And it's by Lynn Morey. And let's see what it says. We notice that our title is Brave Soldiers. So, of course, we already see bravery coming out. It says, when Tasha came downstairs early Saturday, Saturday morning, her father was dressed in full military uniform. His double bag was leaning against the front door, and his smile didn't seem quite real. When he kneeled down, Tasha fit into his arms like a key in a lock. Remember, he said calmly, that... It's my job to protect our country, and it's your job to be strong and brave at home. Tasha nodded in agreement, but she could feel her eyes swelling. Some tears escaped, but Tasha knew she couldn't show her father how afraid she was. She would have to be brave for him now and for herself until he returned. Okay, so here, let's go back to our Venn diagram right here. Okay, so we saw that in the poem, our topic, of course, was bravery. And our theme was it takes more courage to struggle without glory. So what can I see? Let me pull up my writing tool. All right, let's, well, here we go. Okay, so in the short story, our topic, of course, is Bravery. Okay. Now, the theme, both soldiers and those that they leave behind must be brave. So, my theme, soldiers and those they leave behind. Must be brave. Okay, so that is my theme of the short story. Now, in both the poem and the short story, what is the common topic, the common theme that we see repeated? Well, 
topic, bravery, topic, bravery. In our theme, we see more courage to struggle. And then here we see that all the soldiers must be brave. So in general, bravery is the topic and theme that are repeated. Okay, now let's go back to um, how does this story, okay, just a short story, approach the topic of bravery? Well, we see that they are speaking out um, about his, let's see, um, about her dad's responsibility to protect our country. And then we also see here that Tasha shows bravery because she couldn't show her father how afraid she was. She had to be brave for him now and for herself until re he returned. So she wasn't able to show that fear. So when it asks, how does the story approach the topic of bravery, we see that um, her dad, first off, had to show bravery because he, um, in his job to protect our country, but he was also having to leave his home. So that showed bravery. And then we see here that Tasha showed bravery um, because she didn't let her fear shine and that she had to be strong um, with her father leaving. So we were able to compare and contrast the short story and the poem and see what the common themes and the common topics were among the two.